Hi guys, we are back with the continuation of these boho knotless. Um, just a quick update on the hair that we're using. Again, uh, we're using the cute Milky Way human hair book. Um, so far, quick update, I like this hair. I like it a lot. It's not getting tangled very easy. Um, it is very easy to work with, soft, nice. Um, as you guys can see, the curls are looking nice already. All right, and um, we have just finished with the back. It's not, there's nothing on it, no moves or anything. You guys can see how well the curls are holding up, okay? So just a quick update. Um, uh, with these medium sized boho, boho, what am I saying? Medium sized boho knotless, okay? All right, so again, we do medium. So we have three rows in the back, all right? One, two, three. We are using the brick method, so you guys can see. I started with three at the back, and then I have four, and of course, we will have five on top. Now we are going to go to the top part. Um, my client do want a center part, so you want to start with the center part, all right, to make sure that you will have even on both sides now to do my center part i like to honestly go all the way from the client's nose just i mean i'm not touching her nose just to ensure that my part is in the center and it's not sideways always remember to use your jam to ensure your part is nice and clean Once I am satisfied with my center part, one trick that I use to help me to ensure that I have an even amount, I always part down from the top. And just to, this is one way you can use to help you to make sure your, your um, your rows are the same, okay? From my part. And again, I told you I'm doing four rows from the bottom to the top. So I just wanna separate that into two even pieces. And, you know, for my mask, people if I want four rows that I have two halves I just cut each half into halves and then that would ensure that I have four even rows okay that is one way one little trick that I use to help me to ensure that my rows going around they will be even in size okay my parts will be even Once I'm satisfied, notice I'm not doing this perfect, right? Because once I get to the actual parting, then I will part it nice and neat. This is just to give me an idea where I want to start each of my row for the top portion of the head. And there you have it, my four rows. So now I'm going to start parting. Sometimes I part all four of them and get it over with. Sometimes I just do it individually because I know where they're going. I know where each one will be, so I know um, where my part 
will be. So it won't be hard. And today, I think I'm just going to part them individually. All right? Sometimes as well, I do that on both sides just to make sure that when I go around, I'm not um, going to mess up on the other side. So I do the um, four rows on both sides of the head. And I think I'm going to do that today just to ensure. So it's now easy when I'm parting, I can literally start the part on this side and go and just also go on this side, start this part and just connect them in the middle. That way I'm, in, I'm, I'm really sure that my rows are going to be the same and same size all the way around from the, the side of the head to the center as well. That's one part in strategy. There's many ways that um, you know you can use to ensure that your parts are the same size. But this one I find to be the easiest and um, the quickest way for me. Okay, once I get a rough part, I'm gonna go in with some jam to even that out, smooth that out, and then we'll start braiding. Moon in the sky I'm looking at the moon in the sky It shouldn't come as a surprise But I can't sleep War in my mind I'm trying to fight a war in my mind I don't know who's the winner tonight But it ain't me Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever When the night goes on forever When I'm losing track of time Where are you now? When I need you more than ever When I ain't got together
guys can see that my row is even the same all the way around all right so those who are having issues or struggling to get all your rows to be the same um size going all the way around that's just one quick trick that you can use to ensure that um all your rows will be even in size okay remember you may be a great braider but the part parted does help if the hair is part right it allows your braids to look much better and don't be afraid sometimes you know you may have to go back and clean up your part all right when you're looking at it sideways or you know a different angle you may notice that you may want to clean something up that's fine it's perfectly fine Now I can tell you to do the side, one quick way to know where to part, you want to start your first braid, again for medium, right in front of the, the earlobe, it's a little bit in front of the earlobe. So notice her, the tip of her earlobe is right here, and you can see where my part is. So when I do my next braid, your next braid, we, what we want to make sure for brick method we want to ensure that your third braid should fall right in the center, right, of your bottom, the braid underneath it. So if you want to just start by measuring that out for yourself, right? So there we go. We know we want that braid to be there. And we want, depending on the size that you're doing, I want three braids from here to here. So I'm just going to part. To ensure I'll get my three braids. There you go. All right. If we're doing smaller, of course, the number of braids would be more. If we're doing large, there will be only two braids. So it all depends on the size of the braids that you're doing. Once you have those braids. Um, everything else should be simple. Okay, just part along just to ensure that that is the same size. I hope that made sense. Because you know, your edges, of course, you know, it's weaker than the rest of your hair. You want to be very mindful of that when you're adding in here, right? You don't want to put too much pressure or too much weight on your edge when you're adding in the hair. So the ones on the edge will always be a little bit um, less hair added to it because you don't want to put too much pressure on the clients on the edge you don't want to mess up your clients you know of course you all know once the edge is gone it's the hardest thing to get back so you always want to be mindful of that when you are 
an embrace. And clients, make sure you make that very clear too to your stylist. Edges are hard to get back, so you want to be very careful. You don't want to put too much hair. And this is fine. Like you see what's happening here? That's fine. I can just easily be clipped. Um,
This shouldn't come as a surprise, but I can't sleep War in my mind I'm trying to fight a war in my mind I don't know who's the winner tonight, but it ain't When you put in the curly here, again, we only want a small piece of the curly here at the end. So when you put in the curly here, just put it in where you have like even amount on both sides and not just, and not only a small piece on one side. And that way when you braid it, you Born have... in the sky, I'm you looking at the moon in the sky. Okay. It shouldn't come as a surprise, but I can't sleep. War in my mind I'm trying to fight a war in my mind I don't know who's the winner tonight But it ain't me Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever When the night goes on forever When I'm losing track of time I'll be 
PC. Ideally, you know, sometimes you have this that happen, but it's fine. Look at all my other braids, perfectly fine. Okay, we can just easily clip that off, and we're good. Um, Most times when I'm doing um, knotless, guys, I usually part my, I usually section my hair all the way around. Um, for today, I did not. But I mean, again, it's just up to you and how, whatever mood you're in, I guess. But most times, if you watch my other videos, you'll notice that I sectioned my hair. I sectioned the head all the way around before I start braiding. Today, yeah. More than likely, as I get further up to the top, I'm going to start doing all my sections. Okay, so we're just gonna braid again. Oops, I gotta get some more curl here. And if that happens, it's fine, right? I run out of pieces of my curly here, so it's gonna get some more ready and then start the braiding process again. But you guys can see where we are so far. Um, if you have any questions, please don't forget to send me a question or a comment or just a thumbs up. Um, stick around for Part three. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for those who are new to the channel. Thank you.